Okay, everybody, welcome. In this video, we are going to go over how is it that we can use our TI-84 to find the slope in the y-intercept of any linear function, okay? So here we have an example. What is the slope of the graph y equals 12x minus 19? So since this equation, it's already in the form of y equals, so y is already isolated, we don't have to do anything. If this wasn't the case, we would have to solve for y. So y has to always be alone, like in this case. So we're going to go straight to our key y equals, where we're going to input our equation. So y equals, y equals, so we just type 12x, 12x minus 19. Enter. And now, for us to be able to see the graph and the values of slope and y-intercept, we're going to go second, trace. Here we have a lot of different options. But if you remember, the definition of slope is the change of y over the change of x. So if we go down the list, right here we have the change of y over the change of x. So number six is our slope op option. So we're going to click number six. And this is not the answer. You still have to press enter. You see the y or change of y over change of x equals 12. What that tells me is that my answer is actually 12. My slope is 12, okay? So this is my answer. But let's say that I also need to find out what is the y-intercept. So we're gonna go again, second, trace, and we're gonna use the value option, okay? We know that the zero is the x-intercept. We're gonna use the value option. So we're going to press 1, and you're going to be asked for an x value. If you remember the definition of y-intercept, is where the x is always 0. So x has to be equal to 0, and we press Enter. When x is 0, y is negative 19, which tells me that my y-intercept is negative 19. 